before, during, or after therapy, it might be necessary to transfer a patient, for example, from a wheelchair to a treatment table. Each patient should be evaluated before transfer to determine the best method of transfer, as well as the need for additional personnel to assist with the transfer. The physical therapist makes this determination. The dependent standing pivot transfer requires only one person to transfer the patient. The dependent standing pivot transfer is used when patients cannot stand independently but can bear some weight through their legs. This will include patients with significant weakness, paresis, or paralysis. Place the wheelchair parallel to the treatment table or bed and make sure the wheel locks are engaged. The patient's feet are placed on the floor and the wheelchair's foot plates are raised. The foot rests should be removed from the wheelchair whenever possible, otherwise they should be swung out of the way. The armrest closer to the table is removed. The patient should be moved to the front edge of the wheelchair. Blocking the legs is a method to prevent collapse of the patient's knee or hip. This is performed differently for different transfers. For the dependent standing pivot, a therapist should place his feet and knees outside the patient's feet and knees, holding the patient's knees between his knees. With feet in stride, the foot which is closer to the treatment table is placed a little behind the other foot. Once you have blocked the patient's legs, place your hands under the patient's buttocks. You may modify your position depending on your size relative to the size of your patient and the environment in which the transfer is occurring. Throughout this procedure, you must maintain static posture of the spine. The patient may place her arms around your upper back. This is to provide control and stability for the patient's upper body and not for the patient to pull on the therapist. Make sure that the patient's arms are not around your neck as this can cause injury and may also lead to loss of control during the transfer. If a patient cannot place her arms around your upper back, then an alternative position is for the patient to rest her head on your shoulder, preferably the shoulder away from the table. Watch the therapist as he synchronizes the effort to stand by providing a count and command. As he counts, he will initiate a rocking motion in time with the count. This will develop momentum. On the up command, the therapist will lift the patient from the wheelchair, but only high enough to clear the wheelchair and the height of the treatment table. The therapist then pivots toward the treatment table, rotating the patient to the proper position for sitting on the table. The patient is then lowered to a sitting position. Maintain contact with the patient for support until the patient is in a safe and comfortable position.